woman you're about to meet has overcome numerous obstacles in life, both on the track and in life. Yeah, both on, on the track and in life, battling anorexia and body dysmorphia in the past. But she says overcoming her struggles and finding the beauty in her flaws drives her to help others reach their goals in fitness and in life. And she started a full-time coaching business. This morning on the 806, we sit down with Haley Sparks wondering why you know like what is it that I'm not comfortable with about myself and growing through that and learning do you know what I actually love those attributes and uh, using that for my passions we I'm mainly remote but um, it is nutrition coaching uh, which has really kind of transformed into like lifestyle coaching because there's so much to it, you know, sleep, recovery, fitness, activity, um, hobbies, like all of the things. So lifestyle coaching plus remote personal training and programming. So having a group of trainers and a group of remote nutrition coaches doing the business across, you know, Texas. It really kind of is my testimony, you know, you think about it because, uh, you know, fitness has become something that has been something that's transformed my life but it wasn't through it wasn't naturally you know like I went through a really long eating disorder that uh, kind of developed through childhood trauma you know and those kinds of things you know but not knowing how to cope with it I really just poured my sister and I we really poured ourselves into um, you know athletics and just trying to be our best all the time and um, it was just authentic. It wasn't something necessarily for the competitiveness, you know, um, although we were super competitive, you know, all state athletes, but we really just like loved the drive and commitment and found a lot of motivation in like the ones that would do the stuff that other people wouldn't do. Growing into this business, it's like, it was so natural and organic, but it was like, I wanted to provide a way that uh, other people could get healthy and it not be something that completely controls their life, they control it. It was um, something tragic that happened to me when I was 16 years old, unfortunately, you know, where I had to grow up like right then and right there. You know, like I became an adult when I was 16 years old. So through that, um, that's when I kind of, um, you know, learned how to, um, take care of myself, I would say, in a way, and like to be there for myself. But that's what triggered, I would say, the generational and like the decade long coping mechanism of eating disorders and overcompensating with exercise and coping with um, other things that are not healthy for us, you know. But it was very much a cycle of like getting down to the very lowest I've been and then that being the only thing that I can control. Recreate what I wanted my relationship with food to be, what I wanted my uh, relationship with myself to be, you know? Uh, so it wasn't like all rainbows and butterflies, you know? I had to start from the ground up. There's a balanced mindset in being healthy for ourselves and taking care of ourselves and um, completely doing the opposite, you know? Like when we're fueling our bodies with uh, like processed foods and not the good stuff, then we're really ultimately, it's a reflection of like how we want to treat ourselves. And Sparks says health and wellness encompasses physical, mental, and emotional aspects of your life. And she coaches through all spectrums of it. To get in contact with her, hit her up on Instagram and we'll have the link up for you after the show.